Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Super, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different that I've actually wanted to do um, for a while now on the channel, which is anime reaction videos. Um, we're going to be reacting to... Oh my god, dude, I'm so excited. I mean, I read the manga, but dude, this thing get animated is going to be so crazy. We're reacting to the goaded anime, you know, the best anime of all time. I mean, people can argue with, argue with that, but I mean, I'm going to... It's my favorite anime. Even though I started late, I started last um, last summer, and I'm finally caught up with it. It's, hands on, I can say, it's probably my favorite anime of all time. And I, you know, at first I was, you know, intimidated you because, you know, there's a thousand something episodes, but like, a thousand episodes, a thousand something episodes. We're currently at a thousand one hundred episodes, which is crazy. Yeah, I know. Seems like a lot, but trust, like, once you start, like, the One Piece journey, dude, you're gonna be like, I should start this sooner. That's what I, that's my thing. Dude. Look at this. And also, celebration of. Gear 5 being back, our boy is going to be fighting Rob Lucci. It's going to be so crazy, but um, enough with me rambling. Oh my god, this is going to be so peak. Make sure you guys smash the like button right below, and without further ado, get right into this video reaction video. Dude, this is going to be, this is so good. Dude, this intro, I never get tired of this intro. But so last time we saw, um, I think Lucci, he like, you know, he, you know, he fucking just BOOM! Um, uh, Lilith, so we're gonna see. Oh, I kind of was pissed, bro. See, because you know, I mean, they're denying it, but they're also pushing them back. So, oh, yeah, he's pissed. He's pissed. Oh, he's mad at them too for pushing. Oh, even more so because since Luffy is a since Luffy is a, um, an emperor of the sea now, you know, they are, technically aren't supposed to attack without you know asking for permission. Oh, he's on his way, bro. Fucking keys out, bro. See, oh, no. He's saying on business, bro. He's saying on business. Oh, <laughs> dude, rematch. The rematch. Oh, this is gonna be peak, bro. This is gonna be peak. Oh, dude, you fucked up. Feeding to fight each other, bruh. Ever since Water 7 Endless Lobby, bruh. No, Endless not Endless Lobby, was it? Impel Down? No, no, it is Endless Lobby. What the fuck are you talking about? Cause then when he fought, when he fought Lucci last time, that was, oh shit, hockey. This fucking guy. Yo! Yeah, when he fought uh, Lucci, that was like, you know, that was like pre-time skill. 
and with Wayne Knows Now too, and with his Awakened Devil Fruit too, with Gear 5, Sun God Nika, dude. Luchi's gonna get his shit rock, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh, Gear 2. She was like, hmm, you know, finally, a worthy opponent. You know, like the fucking Talang meme? Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. Dude. And then fucking when he just was like, shing. Dude. That fucking frame. Dude, he looks like a fucking monster. Look at Shit, when the music just stops and he's like, so <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Even like, like the dust cloud turns to rubber. The whole battlefield. Toon Force is crazy with Luffy. Oh, that's why they haven't fully seen like Luffy. Oh, everything's clicking for everybody. Oh, oh shit, no way. Are we gonna see him? Oh. Yeah, he's like, nah, I'm not having this shit. Watch me, I'm gonna awaken my thing too. Oh, oh, dude. Bro, this is. Two peak transformations. Dude, holy shit. Oh, that's fucking nuts. The way the fucking thing comes up is. Dude, that fucking fire black flame thing was a fucking leopard. Like when he transformed, like when it transformed into this back part. Holy, wait, whoa, 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 oh shit. Dude, the animation this season is going crazy, bro. 
Cat Cat Fruit Model Leopard Awakened Form. Dude, look at that. In the manga, it was already peep, but dude, seeing this get animated, it's like so much justice done to this. Oh, yeah, Kaku is right. He's technically it's not supposed to, but even if he attacks, though, too, I mean, like, if, since Luffy was a one stick first, I mean, right? Was he the first one? Yeah, he's the first one to take the first punch, right? But, like, you know, throw it first. Fucking Luffy with all that fucking cake, bro. What the hell? That's what I'm bad from though. Hey, I mean, hey, he can flex. He's a freaking god. So I mean, he can, like, you know, he's like, kiss my ass, bro. Dude, look at this. Bro, this fight is... Episode, so we have to deliver with that, you know. Do they have so many good animes on this too? It's so good, dude. Especially with this, like, you know, revamp our style too. Hmm. Skypeo. Holy shit, look at him go! Like he just grabs his eyeballs and just says like...
Yeah, they're coming after Vegapunk. But yeah, back to that when um, uh, Luffy and Luffy did that, you know, the punch and they collide together. That reminded me so much of that um, that first impact they had when um, they were fighting inside like that storage room in um, in Ennis Lobby. Dude. Mm. Oh, we're gonna see his flashback. Oh wait, no, wait, no, not yet, not yet. That's that's too soon, I think. Oh yeah, so they're gonna throw hands first. Because technically, doesn't he have control over um, the war government for the sep um, separate rooms, though? Right? Or. Yeah, see? Okay, I was right. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Jinbei one. Jinbei. Oh, what? Yeah, see, okay, yeah, they're showing it. The breakdown of, you know, the higher power, you see, that have authority over it. Oh, this is... Oh, these are fucking sick. Yo, these are... This is sick. Yo, these are all, like, wallpapers. Over is, over is the lead uh, like, director for this episode. Dude, you're, you guys are cooking with this one. But yeah, it goes in order of, um, you know, the Grosei, then um, the Vegapunks, then Sensumaru, and then it goes CPD Zero and the rest of the whole government. I like the way they, they broke it down because in the com in, not in the comic, in the manga, basically the same thing, but like it was different. Like it was like the visualization of how they show certain things and like express them visually is like really like well done. Dude, I love his art style and animation, dude. I can't get over it, dude. This is the first episode when Zoro cut, you know, like the the water, like thing too. Holy sh! Yo! Yo, let's go. We gotta get Vega Punk out of there as soon as possible. Yeah, that's trippy. So I guess they have. They should have stuff for all the other warlords as well, too, right? Shouldn't they? I wonder if they have like one for like Doflamingo. Maybe? I don't know. But the, the, the rest is Doflamingo, Gekko Maria. Who's the other one? Oh, Crocodile. I wonder if. Maso Maso! Oh, fucking shave, bro. He's like, nah, he's like, out of here. Get his ass, Luffy. Send his ass flying, bro. Yeah, Kaku, don't even try it, bro. You're, you're not. If anything, Lucy can put more of a fight than you, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, last time we saw each other was. Um, was uh, after. Um, when they all met up at um, Samodi for um, the post science skip thing.
there's no way you can just one shot. No, I, he has more strength than that. Oh, this fucker. This... Oh, that's right, and then they won't follow the orders of them. Oh, it's done already? Ah, oh, dude, there's still so much more we got to see from the fight. Oh my god, hold on. Uh, episode was peak, I don't know what to say. This is, it's a great episode. They did not disappoint. I mean, obviously they're not gonna disappoint because you know, the rematch from 2007 up until 2024, it had to deliver. And dude, there's so, so much more to that fight. I don't wanna talk about it yet because there's, I have like a a spoiler like manga section where I talk about like what happens next a little bit. If, if people, you know, do read the manga and I like, you know, talk about that and stuff or like listen to what I have to say. But dude, I love this episode though. Do the impact frames and everything and stuff too. It's, it's so, so crazy. And then, like, I remember, like, before I started watching this episode, I saw this, like, I didn't, luckily, thankfully, I was, you know, I always have to stay away from spoilers and, you know, just, like, little things. Even though I've read the manga before I know what's going to happen, it's just, you know, really cool and satisfying to uh, to see it in a different medium and get adapted into the anime itself, too, because, you know, that's just something that, um you know, that anime can do that, you know, the manga can't, because, you know, um like, just, like, reading books, you know, you have to use your imagination and just, you know, kind of, like, you know, have to visualize things in your mind, like, what, you know, you think what it would sound like or what it would look like, you know, visually. But like in the anime, you actually can visualize it and see it, you know, get like, you know, all blown up with colors and, you know, the animation. Dude, it was, it was really, really good. Because I know like, I, they had two animators that did um, a lot of like really amazing stuff for um, Wano. And yeah, dude, like they delivered, dude. We need to get them on more like um, projects too. And like, I guess like the bigger fights and even just like whatever and stuff too. Like the storyboarding was like really crazy on this. The back thing I was gonna say, I saw on Twitter, um, they had this um, like impact frame, I guess where, um, I guess he was like transforming or something. I'll, I'll probably put it up like somewhere over here, but um, like they have like the meme meal where the guys are like, they're cheering and that's actually like an impact frame. It's like orange and yellow. But I saw that on, on Twitter, I was like, wait, what the heck? I'm like, is that real? And I noticed that like throughout the thing, they had that little frame right there. But dude, this is such an amazing episode, bro. Delivered and so much more. I'm excited for next week. Um, Oh, and then also, um, was it one more week until um, the manga break is over for One Piece, so we can see what happened in that. But, dude, oh, so good. Luchi versus Luffy fight, oh my god. I still, I love the way they did it, especially the way that, like, Luffy transforms into Gear 5 too. It almost like, you know, he gets, like, possessed, you know, by the sun god Nika. And then he was just pounding on his chest, and it's like, come on, beat heart, beat, and then it's boom. And then, you know, dude, that was so crazy, dude, and... The way he was fine too, the Tomb Force is still there, you know. He's like, you know, stretching his body, everything around him turns all bouncy and rubbery. It's so crazy, dude. And then we got the callback to the, the Gear 2, like, stats when he's fighting uh, Luchi. Dude, but I didn't expect Sintamaru, um to, like, get, like, you know. I didn't expect him to, like, do that, um, like, that soon. But, like, for the manga, it, it, it does make sense because, like, I think that was around the time that happened too. And then they, they really adapt this really well too. And also just to, you know, think about like, you know, how the hierarchy works, you know, for the, um, the Sephirims, like, you know, from, you know, like the world government and, you know, like the Vegapunks and the Gorosei, how they have like, you know, like authority over, um, you know, making those because like the way, the reason why they made those is because like, you know, like they have, the warlords has too much like free will. So they, you know, they have, like, you know, and this is just supposed to be like, you know, so like basically a mindless soldier. So what, what other, Thing to, you know, what else could they have done other than, you know, just like, you know, take their DNA and, you know, their best traits, you know, and use them basically as, like, you know, like, um, like, w like weapons and just control them and stuff, too. It's, dude, such a good episode, dude. And, like, you know, just like, you know, more, like, more lore heavy stuff is going to be coming later on throughout the season. I don't want to talk about it too much until we actually get to, like, that part about the manga. But, dude, this isn't, if you thought this was good. Like for anime only people, if you have this is good, buckle up. Dude, you're not ready for what's coming next. It's Oh my dude. Uh, we have so many great fights too. I mean they show it like throughout the um the opening as well too. You know, we have the um you know the law versus blackbeard fight. We have to figure out you know what happened, you know, for the rest of that. Um and then there's also you know the um Akiji versus um Garp fight too. And then Shanks versus um, you know, 
kid. So oh, I wonder, I wonder how far we're gonna get up into like the manga because manga's on break. Cause I know, um, because of Oda's health and also probably you know it's just spaced out better, you know, for the anime and stuff too, which makes sense. Cause you know we're basically kind of you know like actually I know I think we're gonna we're at a good length, right? I mean. Yeah, we're good, at a good length right now for I feel like, you know, spacing out between the manga and the anime where we're at right now. Because, like, we only, like, scratch the surface, like, of, you know, what's happening next in one, um, in, the, the, you know, in Egghead. Dude, yeah, such a good episode. And then, yeah, actually, to call back, you know, for, like, Sanka and Nika, we, they didn't, the rest of the Straw Hats and everyone else, like, you know, they didn't really know, you know, um, that, you know, Luffy, you know, inherited the, you know, like his fruit is not just you know the gum gum, but you know it's also you know the human human fruit, the zone type, and then that you know he is you know basically like you know the god that everyone looks up to, the you know the warlord of like liberation. You know he's he's the one you know that you know people were looking up to like in Skypea. You know there's reference back way back when, and then yeah, it's just, and like even like you know the um, giants and Elbaf too, they look up to him. That's basically you know there's like Lord and Savior too, and a bunch of people too. Yeah, dude, this do this season is is gonna deliver everything with like animation, action, fights, lore, character development. Oh my god, there's ah, oh, there's so much going on. Okay, I, I'm gonna stop this part right, um, video right here um, and say uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see me do more of these? Um, let me know. I, I I can start doing this as a series and. Um, you know, just like, do my, uh, you know, continue my journey from like, you know, from this point on, and just keep filming, uh, recording my reactions and stuff too, if you guys like it. And I do wish I'd started earlier, but like, you know, like, my thing was like, you know, since like, you know, I'm a human, I have my own life and stuff too, like, if the way, you know, like, you know, if I were to like upload and do things too, it wouldn't be as consistent. And yeah, I kind of want to make, you know, consistent things. So, you know, um, you guys can watch the episodes, you guys can watch along with me and like, you know, like, you know, like then like you know the actual like time frame for my upload and uh when you guys watch these you know i guess feels right i mean i'm pretty sure you guys can just binge watch and like you know whatever i post and stuff too but also i was just more so um focused on like you know just enjoying the you know the overall experience itself you know and actually like you know enjoying one piece and seeing you know um why it's so beloved and why it's so good and just the themes and you know everything that one piece covers too like, older does such a good job you know like Covering, you know, like, heart, like, you know, like, heart-touching, um, and, like, you know, heart-wrenching, like, topics, you know, like, more stuff, you know, about the government, society as a whole, um, you know, just the way the world, world is run, and also, just, like, you know, just the whole fantasy aspect and everything, too. Luffy as, you know, like, main character, golden brand. But, yeah, next up, we're gonna be talking about, um, manga spoilers, and just talking about, I guess, like, what's gonna happen next. Okay, um, I'll give you three seconds to uh, step away, and then if not, if you don't care about the manga spoilers, you can stay and just listen to me talk about whatever. Or if you want to go away and you know, you know, just wait until it comes out to witness, you know, the greatness that's gonna happen in the rest of Egghead, then I would highly recommend that. Good, okay, cool. Okay, so I wasn't surprised. I mean, no, I wasn't surprised. I mean, what was I going to say? Sorry. I was surprised that we ended off right there. Well, that's a good cliffhanger too because for people that only um, watch the anime, or anime only, um, they're going to be like, oh shit, like, you know, he's dead. You know, like, what are we going to do? Like, what's happening? Like, you know, but, like, you know, Sensei Maru is a lot stronger than that too, but I honestly thought that we were going to get like a little glimpse of his, like, um, his backstory with um, Vegapunk and stuff too. Like, you know, just a little hint of it. But like, I mean, it does make sense because like that, like, a whole section is like kind of like a bigger you know it, it's just basically like, a, like another stepping stone that kind of like you know these into some of you know Vega, Vega Punk's um like backstory along with uh, a bunch of other characters that you know that were you know interconnected during that time too such as um uh like Kuma that's a really big one um I'm not sure we're, we're gonna see his flashback and you know like the reason why he he be you know he gave, him, gave up himself to the world government and became a cyborg um and also like you know his like big punk's um history with um Tentamaru and um uh Kizaru too and also um Bonnie as well so, yes yeah, like all those characters are all connected together but I guess like like you know that's like later on down the line too and we still have to finish up the fight with um Luffy and stuff too and then also like you know like the real like reason why like you know like 
why um, agents from the world government and CB0 are disappearing as well. And dude, there's so much gonna happen next. I don't wanna talk about too much because like I didn't see that for the next video because when we react to like the next episode, um, 1101. But like, yeah, like it, it's just so crazy just seeing all of this get animated too. And like, it's being done so well too. And it's exactly like, you know, it's exactly like what I imagined and more too. And it's just, it's just peak, dude. I, I don't know what to say, dude. There's not much you can say about it. You just kind of have to just watch it and just like, you know, just take everything in. Dude, I'm definitely gonna watch this again. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna look at all the edits and whatever and stuff on like TikTok or... Dude, this is such a good episode. But yeah, oh, dude. And then when, when uh, Zoro and, and uh, Brooke finally get put into the mix too, dude, they're gonna cook. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, we still have um, like a, a good amount of the Luffy versus Luffy, um fight left over. And, um, you know, Cinemario's backstory, um, more stuff about Kuma and then Bonnie. And then, I'm trying to think what else. It's, it's been a while since I've like read the manga only because it's been on a three week break, that's why. At least for, like, from when I'm recording this. Cause then like, Oh, yeah, I mean, obviously, this is a manga spoiler section, but like, this is like really, really like caught up to like where the manga is at right now. But like, the girl say the five girls say basically, you know, went back to finally like landed, touched down on Egghead because you know, Mega Punk's about to reveal his messages and stuff too. And so much shit has already gone down within that time being of like what already went down and stuff too. You know, like we learn more about Kuma's backstory and then Bonnie finds out about that, you know. And then, you know, like Kuma basically, you know, pulls up to Egghead because you know, Saturn's there. And yeah, there's just so much going on. <sighs> Dude, it's gonna be so, oh my God, I'm excited to see. Do all this get animated too? It's gonna be so like, uh, it's gonna be so emotional. This whole arc, bro, oh my God, this is, Oda wasn't joking about when he said Egghead was, you know, gonna deliver. And dude, oh my God, I love the humor too. Like, you know, like, like I, I'm, you know, like Luffy, you know, he doesn't really take anything like super seriously, you know? Especially, you know, since, like, you know, he's just very joyful and fun and playful. I and mean, he is Sangha Nika, so, you know, he's the fool. So he just, you know, jokes around and makes people laugh and smile. And, you know, just, you know, he's still even gonna, like, liberate the fuck out of the government. But, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna do my thing. You know, I'm gonna do my own thing type of stuff. So, dude, freaking, <laughs> he smacked his ass, bro. That <laughs> I think that was an added scene, actually. I don't remember that being in the manga. But dude, oh, it's gonna get so good. I don't wanna talk too much about it because I wanna like, you know, like save it for when it actually gets animated and like talk, be able to talk about it when it actually, you know, does like come to like, you know, fruition and we get to actually like basically see it. But yeah, dude, amazing episode. Um, That's all I gotta say. Um, Dude, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just like trying to like imagine like what's gonna happen like next and how it's gonna get animated, dude. Oh, this is peak. Um. If you guys stood to the end, uh, thanks again so much again for watching. Uh, my name is John the YouTuber. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. And um, stay tuned uh, for next week's episode. Peace.